know if you can see her out there. I can totally crazy, but um. <laughs> Hello. Hello, beast. <laughs> Um, I am outside putting my chickens to bed. I've got all my chickens in here tonight. I'm pretty happy about it. I finally have everybody integrated. And I was thinking a lot of people ask me how I have so many different sizes of chickens integrated into my flock. So I thought I would share with you guys how I do that. The tiny chickens that are featured in Chickenlandia stories the Tiny Chicken Rescue, which was the Thanksgiving special, if you haven't seen it. Um, they're totally integrated into the flock now, and I'm gonna show you how I did that. They were in a large pen um, where they could see the flock, but the flock could not get to them for about two weeks. And that, that's a pretty long time, but since they're so little, that's what I did. Um, so I'm gonna show you how, oh, sorry, it's raining. <laughs> getting rain on me that's how we do it in the Pacific Northwest um, I'm gonna show you how I integrated them and um, I hope that it can help you so here we go so it is um, the morning time and I am going to let the little itty bitty rescue chickens uh, join the flock today they've been with uh, they've been living separate but seeing, which means that they can see the flock, the flock can see them, but they can't get to each other. So it is now time to let them join the flock. And I've got like egg yolks, <laughs> I've got sprouts, I've got a bag of treats, um, So and I've got some grubs. So I am hoping to keep everybody distracted. I'm mainly worried about Pac-Man because she is kind of a bully. <laughs> She's really sweet to me, but actually she chases me. It's kind of scary. <laughs> so um, I guess we'll see how it goes. Let's do this. So I'm gonna leave this gate open so they will have a place to run and hide if they need to. There's just lots of hiding places in Chickenlandia, um, but hopefully they will be able to work it out pretty quick. And the good thing about the little tiny ones is that they can fly pretty well, usually much better than the big ones. So here goes. <music> I've got all these these yummy things and I'm gonna put all this stuff out like right at the same time that I let them out and they'll be pretty distracted during the initial uh, integration Pac-Man is distracted with some grubs. Come on out. Okay, they're coming out. Here comes Noli. She's not really paying attention to them. I mean, she's, she's establishing where she belongs, but not too bad. Here's the... Oh, Pac-Man. Nice. Nice pack manny. Okay, they're they're in the So this is hard. It's really hard for some people to watch. Like they're with the flock. See they're around dice. They're going to, to where they know. Their little spot. And I'm gonna be visiting them all day. Because I made sure to be home today. 
just to make sure that they're staying safe. And there's Pac-Man acting ridiculous. <laughs> and if Pac-Man is super naughty, guess where she's gonna go? She's gonna go into a crate or something until she can kind of come down a few notches. Ooh. Oh boy, Pac-Man's in there. But she's really not being awful. Like I can tell, I can tell she's not being awful. She's, she's distracted, which is good. You just gotta keep him really distracted. Like, okay, so some of that posturing is okay. If Pac-Man was pecking her on the head so much that she started to bleed, that would be really bad. Or if Pac-Man was like chasing her in there. <laughs> but it looks like a little beast is doing a pretty good job. And here's the sprouts. Everybody's gonna love this. And I'm gonna make sure and put food and water in all different places so that if they are being kind of chased around that they'll be able to get food and water. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes. And um, I heard a little bit of squabbling because I actually sit right by the windows. But I didn't hear much, so I'm going in right now to check on them. I'm hoping everything is fine. So we'll see. a little bit too late I hope you guys can see me it's a little dark <laughs> but um oh they're not in the coop yet you gotta go get in the coop it's dark you want me to put you in there I can put you in there <laughs> it's dark for little chickens to be out all right you can go to bed good job on your first day <laughs> So far they've decided not coming out at all is uh, <laughs> what they would like to do today. They're not coming out. <laughs> They're in their crate. Hopefully they'll come out soon. They have it there, Pac-Man. Give them a break, okay? Pac-Man's being kind of a jerk. Okay, I'm about to go outside and see if they actually went to bed. I don't know if you'll be able to see me. I hope so. Success! <laughs> Finally! This is like, I don't know, probably four days since I was shooting the other part of the video. So they're in here. Um, they, two of them are, <laughs> yeah, that's Philippe. <laughs> Professional butt biter. He really pecked me hard in the butt. So um, they're in here. Two of them are inside a crate and one of them is on top of the crate. So that's a really good sign. Oh, feeling good about it. All right, I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow morning. Hey guys, um, it's cold. <laughs> and I got a message this morning that um, there is a chicken that is in a bad situation 
and needs to come to Chickenlandia. <laughs> I'm still working on integrating the little tiny ones, um, but we're gonna make it work. And I am gonna meet a woman here and get this little chicken and you're just gonna love her because she's adorable, of course. <laughs> Hi, Mandy. Hi. <laughs> I'm getting, that's your, I'm getting your name right, right? Yes. Okay. Hi. This Hi. is, tell me her name. Lacey. Lacey. Hi, Lacey. <laughs> Lacey is a Turkin Silky Cross. She's not quite a showgirl. She didn't make it in Vegas, but <laughs> <laughs> she is going to do just fine Aww. in Chickenlandia. She is just eating like crazy. I've never seen a chicken do this like right when they get home. I know she wasn't starved because I could feel her. <laughs> and the um, person that I got her from really loved her. So, um, I know she was very well taken care of, but man, <laughs> she must feel really comfortable. Hey guys, so um, this integration of these little tiny chickens has been kind of tough compared to many of the other chickens that I've integrated into this flock and there have been so many chickens coming through Chickenlandia um, mainly because I do so many rescues um, I try to take in as many as I can without overcrowding um, and Chickenlandia is pretty much at capacity right now I've got one more that I might take in probably next year but after that um, we really don't have room right now but anyway um, I was able to successfully integrate the tiny chickens. I had to make sure that they were in their pen um, just with the door closed for a few hours a day so that they could eat and get water. I just wanted to be sure that they were eating and getting water. Um, and then I would open the gate at the end of the day or like, you know, the last few hours of the day and they would integrate with the flock and they did really well with that. And then now they're roosting with the flock and they're just doing fine. So, and Lacey took no time to integrate at all. So, um, anyway, we're doing great. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something and stay tuned for next week for our next video. It's going to be a Christmas special. <laughs> we'll see you then.